What is up YouTube? We are back with more Sundered Sky craziness. This time we have a set gameplay for you. Well, from the Chinese server. There are a few things we need to talk about, a few things that are very broken, a few things that you probably didn't know, and a few things that are probably gonna make your game a lot easier in the future. So first off, let's take a look at the runes in the bottom left. Conqueror for more damage, but there's one thing that I personally always advise towards other people is picking up second wind on a melee champion. Second win on a melee champion is so incredibly powerful, especially into champions such as Darius. Because if you look at these traits here, how he's fighting the Darius, how he also has a second ability to just have even more damage, you would quickly realize that how long this fight has already been going on, how much healing Second Wind would have already provided him with. And Second Wind also scales brutally into the later stages of the game, whereas Bone Plating only scales like a tiny amount. So the damage that Set is doing to him is completely thanks to the rune Brutal he has. So keep that one in mind, Brutal is one of the most broken runes on Set that you have to pick up if you want to deal the most damage. Flash W! No way, the bone plating gap. Uh, he could have technically speaking uh, expected this because he had seen his own bone plating cooldown since both of them went on cooldown at roughly the same time. He could have known the bone plating came up but it was just very unfortunate because it was very very close anyway. But losing Flash and not get a kill is a sad thing. He is most definitely not the happiest about this trade. However, he's getting closer and closer towards the tab by power spike. But I don't believe he will actually go for the boots. Yeah, he will not go for the boots because the boots themselves don't provide him with enough of a power spike. So he'd rather go for a long sword and then for the next base go for the plated steel caps. That is what I believe is his reasoning. Oh, the global healing of the um, Hextech heal pack. Just uh, arrived top lane. Lovely. Needs to be mindful of the Darius trading here. Good trade back. Valley took any damage. Darius needs to be really, really mindful. Because this damage is way too high, as you've seen. But the jungler has to bail out because the Orianna and the Aatrox are making something very, very crazy happening in the river. But the Riven is turning back slowly, gets completely obliterated by the combo. Aatrox still not level 5, turns around, hit him with the ultimate and the stun as well. Orianna has to flash away, but now Twisted Fate flashes into their faces with the yellow card and is indeed the end of them after the scuttle play. What an aggressive early game already without any mercy already, like this early on. They just got no chill at all. Back in lane, plated steel caps in his hands, as well as a call fields hammer. At least gets the cannon XP and the local gold. What RD did he get? He gets the minion kill. When will he use it though? Holding the wave in a good position until Darius comes back. Minion is behind him and in front of Darius, so he gets the stun. He pulls him, uh, if he pulls a unit from either side or from both sides at the same time, the stun will be applied to the enemy. Full bomb plating is being procced, it doesn't matter however, and he's getting pulled in. The beat up commences, full combo onto the Darius, still not fully stacked the passive, and he just completely runs him down with the power of Ignite, and it's not even remotely close. But yeah, coming back to the bone plating and second wind example. Second wind of melee champions is unbelievably broken, especially into damage over time champions and Darius is a damage over time champion because the damage to you will constantly be applied over a duration even after the fight ends which then will make second wind even more powerful because Riot made a very interesting mistake like Ian's in the past that they completely overtuned the values of second wind for melee champions so that they have no further purpose of going bone plating in any scenario. Like we are at a, at a point where even against the most grotesque matchups, like for example Renekton, you, you most of the time are better off having well, like having second wind unless you play a very weak champion that just gets one tapped otherwise. So only on ranged champion this rune is frequently picked. 
to to give yourself a better idea about this, just go into the game and uh, read the numbers of both uh, of both runes and be like, okay, that sounds very interesting. Because on PC, second wind healing is over 10 seconds, and then in Wilder they were like, that doesn't sound too good, so let's give the rune bell base health region and make it over 5 seconds. And make it double for melee. The damage that is go coming in is quite severe, as you see. It's definitely not low damage of this uh, of this set. The trading pattern also really complementing Sunder Sky. And if you pay close attention, do you spot the double healing buck on him right now, or is it not happening? Because for that one, you have to be really, really aware and have to take a close look at the HP bar and the jumps in HP. And if you see like a major increase in HP that happens like slightly delayed, then you see it has the bug. And if you have the bug, well, you're basically immortal. And the healing being picked up, Aatrox now using the hex gate to go over to the other side of the jungle. Maybe he goes for Herald instantly, maybe he pillages the jungle, let's see what he does. Set is immediately walking there to deny them the play at the Herald. Ooh, he still gets the Herald, now this is gonna be a little bit awkward here, but the set is too tanky. It's also very important that in these situations, when you get lower and lower and lower, you kind of have to hit and swap targets with Thunder, Thunder Sky, because it just makes it so much easier to not die. Uh, 600 gold into the pockets of the set completely for free. Darius now has to really worry about his life. So it seems like only one instance of healing applied on him this time. Ignite. Oh, red buff? Bone plating again. Okay. Still gets the kill. Man, these pets. They're still bugged to sometimes give vision or give the enemy vision of you, especially if you're in bushes. Because sometimes they chill outside. Or you see them walk in the late, so uh, yeah, you gain an unfair advantage. 124 gold left until hard steel, making it even more powerful because the damage he deals. Then he scales with his HP because grit scales with HP. And the, the enemy team takes a lot of time until they reach a point where they can actually reliably kill this champion. Scorch and Cheap Shot by the Orianna, decent chip damage, but yeah, you need a lot of these to actually kill that guy. Like, a lot. Hastil now being picked up by the set. And if you look at the bottom uh, left build, like you see that from Heartsteel he then goes into Titanic. And let's talk about synergy here. Plated Steel Caps have life. Ha uh, Thunder Sky has HP, like also life. Heartsteel has HP. So afterwards he will go for Titanic Hydra to increase the AD he has. And he has decent AD ratios, for example, on his Q. And for example, his ultimate scales with the enemy's HP. With all this in mind, if he hits a squishy at any point in time, he will immediately one-tap them. Especially with the power of Titanic Hydra's active, well not active, but passive. And if he throws a tank into them, they will die as well. But yeah, just a combo of plated steel caps and second wind is just so dumb. And if you have, like, the higher health you have, the more HP you can be missing, and it's it's just going to be some insane healing you will gain from second wind, especially if you take a look at the after-game stats. There is in the river on the crab, but not on said watch. Ooh, ooh, there's a jungler. Gets put. what? Okay, right, games. Okay, there is. You kind of overstayed your welcome. So let's see. Do we see the double? Come on, hit him. Hit him. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. I, I'm sorry. I have to go back and I have to slow down. Uh, 
It looks like only one instance, just looks a little bit blurry. And yeah, I don't want to know what Aatrox is going to heal if he has Sunder Sky, his ultimate active, and he is set with full HP. I don't even want to know. Because it's going to be criminal. The entire family is coming down here. Set has the ultimate available. This with the crux. Now we used wave already. Dragon already about to die. No, soul will not be a, like a win condition or a possibility for any team anymore. So dragons lost all their value, and they even lost mid lane priority. The biggest issue with objectives, especially during this time, is people often give up mid lane priority to get towards the objective. But the issue is, if the enemy then has primary access to the next mid wave, they will take the mid tower. So if you lose the objective plus the mid tower, you have like a double negative. Big W, but it's not enough. Probel's away. Nice little ultimate onto the Riven. Riven gets the first kill, gets a reset. Gets another one, gets another reset. Is this the game of Riven or uh, set so far? Flash W of the Nami, not doing anything. Another kill by the Riven, which is another reset for the Riven. Flashing in onto the Orianna. Ultimate comes in as well. Hits the W onto the Lulu. 1 HP set gaming, walking away. Off into the sunset. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why we hate the Riven rework. Like, the old reset mechanic feels like so stupid. It's like, imagine you have a champion, like Katarina, and suddenly you give the ultimate a complete reset, but the damage of the ultimate obviously is an instant and not, like, channeled. And it's still AoE. It's like, absolutely crazy. And, and for some reason we believe that is balanced, and I do not understand why. Luckily, Riven's play rate isn't that high, and people are griefing with the item build so much that the champion looks a lot weaker than she is. So we should be very much thankful for that, because if people start picking up Sunder Sky as well as Divine Sunder on this champion, then there's a lot of problems, a lot of problems, because then this champion doesn't die anymore compared to having Eclipse. Okay, we are 110 gold away from the Titanic Hydra, the Promised Land. The Crux will open up the Promised Land and lets us ascend into the actual godhood of this champion. Because now all the money we spend on HP finally is converted into offensive stats. And with that done, it's going to be a very, very bad day for any enemy champion, especially squishy champions. So now he runs towards mid lane, Baron Nasha has spawned already, they are looking for a potential angle here for flank, Riven is in the chicken camp looking for a catch, getting a catch would allow them to basically accelerate the game by picking up Nasher. Set has a tiny problem with the bottom wave on the map, somebody has to clear it eventually, so they just have to look at each other for a few moments, so somebody deals with the side waves or side wave, and once the side wave has been dealt with, like, look, he, he can't show. You might be asking, why isn't he showing? Why isn't he showing? If he shows immediately, the enemy will go for Baron. Because that's the correct play. Because enemy Twisted Fate already used ult. The enemy look f should look for a Baron trap. But the thing is, Aatrox is visible in a lane, so they can't trap because the enemy knows they're not on Asher. So, because Aatrox was showing as of this moment, like a little bit earlier, they knew that there was no pressure anymore because the enemy wouldn't start Baron. Aatrox pops the ultimate, hits decent sweet spots onto the set, Nami misses ult completely, fully stacked grit onto the set, W into the backline, 11 and has 6 damage straight up into multiple people, Darius didn't get a reset with the ultimate ability, now set has to play for time, avoids the outer edge of the X and therefore survives this trade so that Darius doesn't gain any extra healing. 3 people dead, 5 people alive for his team, which means now this should be an easy natural pickup for the set's team. 
Revan is about to die to the Nasha damage, needs to be really careful. Lu is uh, in base, Zaya is traversing the map trying to pick up all the waves there are. And yeah, there's no sweat and no stress to go towards the next dragon because it really doesn't matter who gets it because both teams have one dragon, therefore the third dragon is completely irrelevant. So you shouldn't even look at that and for this one, the, the weakest member, in this case the Nami, should pick up the T-Hex. And even then, um, it's kind of sad because now we don't have a wave available, but given the previous waves, it's probably better right now. And the T -hex, well, another thing that you can do with the T-Hex is you can actually be the front line and face checking brushes and such. Because the T-Hex can't be CC'd, it has a decently high health pool, and you can just walk in and prepare for your team. Okay, so many use so many oh my god, that's into the back line. Yeah, for some reason, the enemy just did that. And this is one of the one things you do not want to do against a set, because it's certain death. Like, they have a Zarya team, they just want the enemy to engage. But if the Zarya isn't there, and if the people are continuously hitting the set, who has like 50k HP, things will be very, very dire, because Zarya will not have enough damage. It's kind of sad right now, because with the removal of Ruined and Light theme, crit 80 carries, especially like IE, it lost a lot of value, because... It just isn't the same. You lost so much, crit, so much of a crit modifier compared to before that you just barely notice the item compared to other options. Because for some reason in this video game, Infinity Edge doesn't do too much for you compared to well, League of Legends PC. In the previous patch, Infinity Edge actually did something for you. He's now prepping the side wave to have another wave to play off of. Baron Nasha and Elder spawning relatively soon. So right now he has a little bit of leeway. He could even die right now if he wanted to. It uh, would not ruin the game right now. But um, obviously it should not be a thing you want to do. Somebody has to think about facing the wave on Darius' side, if possible. But Twisted Fate and instead of looking for a pick here, as it seems. Now the set is probably gonna... Ooh, the Aatrox probably gonna dash over the wall here to the Gromp. Oh no. Probat forward, instant death, full combo. He will not move for the next 15 seconds. Revenue is ultimate, but it doesn't really matter because she'll have ultimate up again very soon. The mid lane is being pushed up by the Orianna, the Kai'Sa is trying to catch this as well. Nice wave by the Nami, redeeming all the previous ults right now, and they're getting completely CC locked. Nice Polymorph by the Lulu. If the Darius actually killed the Twisted Fate with the ultimate, this could have been very, very dangerous and close. Because then who knows what would have happened afterwards with the reset. Oriana somehow killing a Kai'Sa minute 18 into the game. I don't know how that one happened, but it apparently does. Now Zaya is trying to walk closer. We still have the yellow card. The yellow card needs to... Oh no, the Lulu Polymorph is absolutely carrying this. But we still have Smite available, no problem. Uh, but we are losing a mid lane inhibitor as it seems to the Oriana, who just previously killed the Kai'Sa. Oriana is now trying to run away, but the set will not let her escape. Flash, Protobelt, old one-shot. Farewell, friend. And with them dead now, with Oriana dead now, Lulu dead now, and Zaya dead, I don't think the enemy has any opportunity to do anything this game. Midland is neutral right now, with two super mini waves clashing into each other. But they have the superiority on the sideline with the set. Like, look at all the items he has. His Q should be an absolute demolition truck. It should completely deny, like, it should blow anyone up in almost an instant. One minute of Elder left, so let's see if he finds an angle or there he is, you might have made a mistake. He's still alone though, so. 
Baron being picked up, Nami quickly, like, or at least tried to mentally debate herself into recalling for the T hacks, but not necessary as of now, at least at the moment. Now she does it. They don't kill the minion wave mid instantly. They're a little bit uh, waiting. Now Nami picks up the T X. The boss wave looks terrible. And now Set is trying to go to the other side while they siege mid lane. Now Kaisa is recalling to clear the bot wave now? Okay, that's I don't understand. T-Hex Mecha on the way to the top lane. T-Hex coming closer and closer. Finally, it's at the tower, so the laser can happen now. Laser the turret, brother. Come on. It's your one job, ultimate of the Orianna used now, barely doing any damage to the uh, set here. Getting closer, two taps the tower. Could have been a lot faster with the T-Hacks. Because the damage dealt to the champion is not as relevant as the damage dealt to the towers with the T-Hacks. Because you barely do damage to champions anyway. You're more like a utility thing, you can just uh, throw them back. With the tail swipe, nice twisted fate combo. Come on, TX. Hit the tower. Triple inib down. I don't think they're gonna make it out of this. That's not possible. Another Baron and the Elder Rotation spawning in this game. Aatrox being spotted at the Croc Camp. Darius has 3700 HP, which means he's a prime suspect to be thrown into his own team with the power of the set ultimate. Any of the enemy squishies needs to be really, really careful. Like, this set has a lot of AD, and contrary to what people usually build on set, like they have no AD at all, they barely do damage. But this set, he does quite a lot of damage. If you see the hits he has with the first ability in combination with Titanic, you'll quit. Like, if he hits the Darius, you'll quickly realize how much damage he actually does, because it's a 200 armor Darius. Uh oh, Zai, you walked a little bit too close. Just get a one shot. Bye bye. Nice stun into the mini wave as well. Second ability coming up. Xerox popping as well. You need to be really careful against the Aatrox because you're not tanky at all against this Aatrox. Because Aatrox has Serpent's Fang. And with Serpent's Fang, your shield is mitigated by, I think, up to 60% or 65%. If he hits it with an auto attack. So that is a little bit insane. Makes a, a very powerful item on Aatrox top against Chendo. Time for some clips at the end as per usual. And make sure to follow that channel in the description below. Insane gameplay uploads on cooldown. Ah, 1887. Yippers. 2025. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Draven, you fought, you fought, and now it's a 1v2 scenario. Flashes backwards to hit both of them with the Haymaker. One shot. Yep. Stacks up the grid, finds the angle, one shot to Kaiser. Doesn't take damage from Vega ult because of the shielding. Kindred is trying to dance around. He's looking at an angle here. Finds the Gwen, throws the Gwen into the backline. Jana is complete out of position, gets CC'd now, full grid stacked up, and this will be a beautiful quadra kill. Let's take a look at the rune selection here. Here we have second wind, or a powerful rune, as I said earlier, absolutely broken. Bone plating in first tree. Interesting. Second wind, this is. I still don't understand why people don't just take uh, Giant Slayer. Just take Giant Slayer, bros. It's broken every game. 
every game, by the way. And yeah, we're at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, comment and boost the algorithm, and we'll see each other for more content very soon. Take care.